a lot of students are the research scholar, even of my research scholar, when I'm asking them when they submit the review of literature, have you gone through this book? He said that, no. Because in the introduction itself, at the moment you submit in a synopsis, you have to have write the review of literature. So you must have a comprehensive idea of the reference which you are making as the literature there itself. If any article is being referred, if it has been asked that what is the idea of this article which is being submitted, and when you find it out that there is a no specific relations or correlations with my research itself, it is nothing for you. Please don't do it. Because you want, you, the, the purpose of a research is to accredite it. Meaning thereby, you are giving a specific research there itself where the others are going to make a research on your subject itself and find out the loopholes in the research. And that is the purpose of that if any hypothesis is being drawn, if the researcher is not able to prove his hypothesis becomes null, it is a valid research. Because what has been asserted in the beginning itself or the limited research or the, or the review of a literature, the researcher has made his hypothesis and found a later date that what assertion he has made or asserted in his hypothesis is not going to be proved. So you may have an alternative way to find out and you have to look at to the all stone unturned that unless reality it has to be there except that it is nothing to be going to be proved. It becomes none except you have to justify it. So from a review of a literature, it has to be absolutely in the mind the, the moment we are also right now writing any books itself. While writing any books, I must have an idea of a comprehensive of those area. If I do not have the comprehensive idea of those area, I cannot write, I cannot make a copy of that. Meaning thereby that I have to analyze those. I have to give the fact and reason for that, that why I have chosen this topic. While writing an MS and objective, Referring your review of literature itself, the number of review of literature in the synopsis PhD it is said that you must submit at least 10 number, minimum 10 number of review of literature there. So if an out of 10 number of literature, if you submit it, there are a number of questions can be asked by anyone. That have you gone through the XYZ literature, if you have not gone through it, then how you have accepted it? Your hypothesis, this is already being proved, it has already been researched. Why you are going for a similar kind of research? And it is, it is, it, it is there in the every university itself, in every research itself, that there is a repeated number of research out there without having any kind of new, new suggestions or new recommendations or new topics is required. You have an alternative way of finding out. 